Jose Aldo is a featherweight great that is actually still young given his tenured career in the UFC. He's been through wars with the greatest in the UFC and is still going strong facing off only against the top contenders in the promotion. All these wins under his belt has also afforded Jose to live a great lifestyle. You might also be surprised at how much he's worth as well, which we'll dive into soon. In this video, we'll go through Aldo's incredible UFC career, his net worth, lifestyle, and more. Thanks for joining us on this lifestyle video, now let's get started. Number 1. Incredible UFC Career Did you know that Jose Aldo was on an 18 fight win streak before he fought Conor McGregor? From 2006 all the way to 2014, Aldo could not be touched inside the ring. Many of these fights were for the UFC featherweight championship and he faced off only against other elite competition. These included big names such as Chad Mendez, Kenny Florian, the Korean Zombie, and Uriah Faber. He defended the title a record 7 times and was at one point considered to be the pound for pound number 1 fighter. In one of the first viral fights that put him on the map, he faced off against another veteran, Cub Swanson. Leading up to the fight, Cub and Jose exchanged a lot of trash talking, but Cub wasn't anyone that Aldo could overlook. Coming into the fight, Cub had a record of 13 wins and 2 losses. In his most recent win, he won fight of the night, toughing out a grueling night against Hiroyuki Takaya. Unfortunately, all the trash talk might have gotten into Swanson's head as he came out hard looking to strike fast. In doing so, he walked straight into a flying knee and immediately curled up before the ref stopped the fight. This was an incredible 7 second KO that showed everyone Aldo's explosive power. Holding his belt close, he was challenged by another fighter in Chad Mendez twice, once in 2012 and another in 2014. In his first encounter, Jose Aldo again showed off his skill, defending a takedown attempt and turning it into a spinning knee. Mendez was immediately out and Aldo was able to celebrate the victory with his fellow countrymen. Watch as he confirms the knockout and then jumps into the crowd. The second fight with Mendez showed another side to Aldo that we've seen before. It was a dogfight that lasted the whole 5 rounds and showed the conditioning that Jose Aldo had in his decision win. One controversial moment that happened was a 1-2 punch after the bell. However, the ref didn't stop it so the fight continued. The fight was one-sided throughout the rounds and just showed how dominant Jose was at the top. Unfortunately, the fight right after showed how aggression can cause devastating damage but also leads to opportunities for your opponents. The fight that catapulted Conor McGregor was also one that saw Aldo suffer his first loss in almost a decade. This fight lasted a total of 13 seconds as Aldo ran straight into a left counter that was set up by Conor. However, this would not be the end for Aldo as he dusted himself off from the loss and won the interim championship a year later when he defeated Frankie Edgar, making him a two-time UFC featherweight champion. And he's not done yet as we'll see in the later sections. Number 2. Net Worth and Earnings Winning titles, headlining super fights, and a 9-year consecutive win streak sets you up to be a very memorable star. And as we all know, the top fighters in the promotion tends to get paid the most. Here are some of the most notable earnings from Jose Aldo's career. Jose started fighting in 2008 in the WEC and at the time there was little to no money being made, even by top fighters in the promotion. Aldo fought Cub Swanson in 2009 receiving a total of $62,000. Half of this was coming from sponsorship money. Five years later, in 2013, his two fights against Frankie Edgar and the Korean Zombie earned him around $300,000 each. This included little to no pay-per-view payouts that had a large upfront base salary and win bonus. In his super fight against Conor McGregor, Jose Aldo earned a total of $2.5 million. $2.1 million came from pay-per-view payouts he received being on such a hyped fight. This was the highest amount that Jose Aldo earned in the UFC. Aldo's earnings are consistent when faced off against top fighters and average around $300,000 to $400,000 per fight. However, it took him years and a lot of wins to get to the point in his career. MMA prospects and amateur fighters are going to be making much less. In total, Jose Aldo has earned $9 million from the UFC and given his other business ventures, it's estimated that he's worth a total of $10 million. Number 3. 
Brazilian lifestyle. Aldo continues to fight and train out of Brazil, making each dollar go that much further given that on average, the cost of living there is 50% less than it is in the US. He's also spending the money smartly by getting an 8 bedroom house next to Disneyland which he also can rent out. This house features a clubhouse, private theater room, Jose Aldo memorabilia, and more. Aldo fans would love renting out the spot to live, but right now, he's saving it for his friends and family. Apart from nice things, nothing has changed all that much for Jose. He continues to train with the same team and in Rio de Janeiro. It's clear he's committed to the same group of people who stuck with him when he would not have food to eat to where he is now. The lifestyle might be better, but the people are all the same. This also includes his longtime partner Vivian Aldo. These two were married back in 2005 when Jose was just 18 and have supported each other since. We can always spot Vivian Aldo at ringside whenever Aldo is competing in a fight. Jose has also spoken how during his recent tough times, his wife has been his biggest support. They also have a child named Joanna who loves to watch her father fight and gets to meet some great stars like Ronda Rousey along the way. Number 4. What's Next? Although it may seem like Jose has it all when it comes to his career and life, he's not quite done yet. Aldo is only in his mid-30s and he's looking to make another run for the title at Bantamweight, cutting down 10 more pounds to see whether he still has it in him for another championship run. Generally, we see fighters increase their weight as their careers continue, but Aldo was always a smaller featherweight, so this might be good for him. What do you think about Jose Aldo's drop in weight class, and do you think he'll be able to make it far? He's currently the 5th ranked Bantamweight and will likely have one or two more shots at contending for the title, especially if he wins in dramatic fashion against Pedro Munoz. On the other hand, if he loses again, it would be considered his 4th loss in 5 fights, which might mean he's on his way out of the UFC. MMA fans are wishing the best for this famed fighter and hope he'll continue to do well in the sport. So, what are some of your favorite things about Jose Aldo? Do you still have that nostalgic memories of Jose Aldo at his height and incredible win streak? And given how many fights he's been in, does the amount of money he's worth make sense? Let us know what you think to these questions below and we'll share our thoughts as well. Thanks for watching and I wanted to give a quick shout out to all of y'all who's been watching our content. We appreciate the continued support and growth of the channel, so share this with a friend or MMA fan that you know. We'll catch you next time on the channel.